Hi, everyone. I've been reading through your comments, and one of you gave me a good math problem to solve. Today, we're diving into that exact math problem you want to see. Now, with that said, all right, math legend, let's see if we can solve this math problem first before I do. If you got the answer, let me know in the comment section down below and subscribe to get more challenges like this. Now, according to PAMDAS, when looking at this problem, according to PAMDAS, when a problem contains only division, which we do see only division, you must perform the operations from left to right. So let's go ahead and do that. Seven divided by five. I want to turn this into a fraction to make the math easy. Seven over five. And then let's bring down the division symbol down and then the two down. Also, I want to turn this two into a fraction to make the math easy as well, because we know two over one equals two. It does not change the two. Now we have seven over five divided by two over one. And now let's use that method, keep change flip, where I'm going to keep the fraction seven over five, change the division symbol to multiplication. And then lastly, flip this fraction. So the one will go on top of the fraction and two will go at the bottom of the fraction. So it'll be written like this, one over two. And all you have to do now is just multiply across. Seven times one is seven over five times two equals 10. So now we have a fractional answer, a proper fraction, seven over 10. And we cannot simplify this further and this will be it. Now let's get a decimal answer for this. And we can use the traditional way to solve this by using long division, or you can just move the decimal. So know that there is a decimal after the seven and just move the decimal to the left by the numbers of zeros that you have in the denominator. We have one zero in the 10. So you just move one place to the left like that, and now your answer becomes 0.7. So that will be your decimal answer. Now we can use the traditional way by using long division, and I have space to do this here. So we can write seven as the dividend, 10 as the divisor. So how many times can 10 fit into seven? You cannot, so it's zero and you multiply zero times 10, that's zero. You subtract seven minus zero, that's seven. How many times can 10 fit into seven? You cannot, so you don't have to borrow a zero. So I added decimals after the zero and the seven, bring down the zero, give it to the seven, now it becomes 70. And how many times can 10 fit into 70? Uh, seven, uh, seven times. Seven times 10 is 70, and 70 minus 70 equals zero. I ran out of space there, but you know it's zero. So your decimal answer is 0.7. And there you go.